This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting, brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Gavin Gaddis. Here's what you need to know for today, Wednesday, November 13th. Before we get into the news, I want to give a quick heads up that Sounds Profitable's own Tom Webster will be presenting new data and findings from the landmark podcast Landscape 2024 study in a free webinar co-hosted by Crooked Media VP of Sales Giancarlo Bizarro. The two will be discussing how the study's findings show a real story between audio versus video, why podcasting remains fundamentally audio first even with video's crucial discovery role, and strategic implications for both podcast creators and platforms. You can register now for the live webinar on Wednesday, November 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the website version of today's episode. Now let's get started. First up, Spotify reports quarter three 2024 earnings. Yesterday, Spotify published their latest quarterly earnings report featuring growth noteworthy enough to generate coverage in Bloomberg and the Wall Street Journal. Noteworthy stats include paying subscribers reaching 252 million in quarter three, beating analyst estimates of 250.1 million. Spotify's gross margin also beat expectations, growing to 31.1%. Advertising revenue is only up 6%, attributed to lower prices in both music and podcast advertising. Next up, influencer spending increases in Q4 after election blackout as brands integrate channels, commerce. Many brands either reduced or outright halted investments in influencer marketing to barricade themselves against political blowback during a heated election season. With the U.S. election over, marketers tell Digiday they expect to see budget spend on influencers increase during a holiday season that's been compacted down by election and economical concerns. Meanwhile, platforms like Meta and TikTok are pushing the premise of a Q5, suggesting brands should take advantage of advertising lulls during the end of December and early January, when shopping will spike again. Next up, the number of ad tech mergers and acquisitions is developing from a trickle to a steady flow. This past quarter, merger and acquisition, that's M&A, activity saw significant growth, with the overall volume of M&A increasing 13% quarter over quarter. A trend in the mergers of late is rationalization deals that aim to consolidate or expand the purchaser into new markets. Podcasting is no slouch in the new M&A games, such as the recent Insignia Capital acquisitions of Lower Street Studios and Veritone One, which will eventually merge the two companies and bring podcast advertising into a previously podcast-less Insignia portfolio. Next up, subscriptions poised to make a comeback as publishers sort out revenue opportunities for 2025. While direct sold remains a top priority for publishers interviewed by Digiday, subscriptions are making notable gains in regards to where publishers are making the most money and thus will get more focus in the approaching quarters. A Digiday survey found the top three revenue sources for publishers going into 2025 in order are direct sold ads, video advertising, and branded content. Video advertising came in fourth place in 2023, making its current spot at number two a notable jump in revenue. As for the rest of the news, AI studio Wondercraft has partnered with Frequency to launch an automated ad personalization integration. Magellan AI demonstrates how it can measure a spectrum of podcast promo types from leadership interviews to branded podcasts. Documentary.tv and Evergreen Podcasts have teamed up to adapt their Warriors in Their Own Words podcast into a YouTube docuseries. True Native Media has brought on Angie Trueblood as an account executive. Politico discusses lessons to be learned from podcasting during 2024 election campaigns. A new Myers report forecasts digital video will be the top growth category in Australian advertising for 2025. And Digiday covers the significant lack of election traffic increase to news publishers compared to the 2020 election. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Newton Shadowcotty, myself, Brian Barletta, and Tom Webster. This episode is hosted on Spreaker. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Gavin Gaddis. Download us again tomorrow.